second half especially uh, will be will be tough to do. One thing that sticks out is a, is a bad thing with the free throws. Uh, you know, Mahoney was going to get a fish as well. Uh, you guys talked about that. Obviously, that made that kind of hard. And, and yeah, I mean, the misses early definitely uh, definitely hurt. But uh, you know, it it looks like it affects us in the game. But I don't think it affects us as, affected us as much uh, today. You know, we were fighting it all all the way through. You know, we might have hit one or two more free throws. We might have missed one or two more buckets to go along with that. So uh, it kind of goes both ways. You know, maybe missing those free throws helps us out on the defensive end a little bit. But uh, yeah, we do have to make those uh, down the stretch, and uh, it'll help us out a lot more too. You guys fought back to, to force the overtime. Then in the overtime, they outscored you guys thirteen to four. I'm curious, do you guys feel like maybe you were I mean, they just hit a couple shots and it knocked the life out of us a little bit. You know, it's tough when uh, when you're down 14 going in the second half and you fight back 14 points against a uh, top 25 team and then you start the uh, overtime and they hit a big three. You know, it's heartbreaking. Uh, but then again, you know, we kind of let that affect us on the offensive end and didn't go down to get a good quality shot or didn't hit a shot. And uh, we just can't do that, especially if it gets a top 25 team as well coached like, like New Mexico. Can you talk a little bit about we had more uh, sense of urgency on defense in the second half compared to the first half. Uh, we were flying around, got some stops, and then obviously made some shots, and that kind of brought us back in the game. So uh, we just kind of dug ourselves in too big of a hole in that first half. Manny, talk a little bit about it. It seemed like early on in the game, and then first, first during the second half, they were doing a lot of isolation stuff for you, and you had them in foul trouble. Uh, you guys were in the bonus 16-33 to go in the, first, in the second half. Just talk about that the one-on-one matchup. Was that a game plan coming in? Uh, no, nah, like, I mean, I've been posting up a lot uh, throughout the whole season. Uh, just whenever we go small and I go to the four, I go in there in the post. So it wasn't something uh, specifically for this game. It's just something it's kind of we do as a team. So. Can you guys talk about, I mean, is it, in this moment in particular, is it hard to have a perspective for, you know, you guys lost, but probably took a step forward in your development. I think we'll be able to wrap our mind around right now. You know, we understand, you know, we got to try and win every game, and this game is going to hurt, especially late in the season if, if we're in there with, you know, 20 plus wins or so. But uh, just that we, we fought in the second half, and we're down 14. You know, when you spot a top 25 team 14, four, when, you t- when you spot a top 25 team 14, t- or 14 points, it's tough. And, you know, we didn't give up, and we fought back, and uh, we improved in the second half, and that's the, that's the plus side of today. Talk about the familiarity between the two teams. I mean, at, at certain times, I saw you, you know, doing the same hand signals. They were calling out an offensive play, and on defense, you were doing the same hand signals. Can you talk about the familiarity? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, Coach Lansing uh, coached under Coach Alford at Iowa, so uh, some of the sets were familiar to him, and uh, uh, Coach Lou uh, did the game film and uh, had us ready to go and showed us some of the things that they like to do, and uh, and it was right on. You know, we knew what they were doing, and that helped us a lot in the second half because, you know, when, when they make a play call and you know what they're going to do, you can kind of cheat and help each other out and know where uh, when you know where the offense is going. Did you get the sense they were doing it sometimes with you guys as well, though? Uh, absolutely, you know, and teams are going to do that here. The more the more game film that they have on you, the more they're going to know. And that's when you just adjust and you got to just play through it. Jay, Coach Alford down the hall uh, said he talked to you after the game and he told us that you're the best guard they've played against all year. They played UConn, they played Davidson, they played some really good teams. Just uh, That's a guy that could play a little bit himself. Just talk about that compliment coming from him. I mean, it's an honor to get a, a compliment like that from uh, Coach Alford. You know, he's he's been an Indiana legend his whole life, basically, you know, and uh, to have somebody uh, give me give me praise like that, you know, it's nice. And uh, but it's about the team, though. You know, and I couldn't have done this without these guys. So uh, give credit to them and uh, and helping me out out there on the floor.